Lexi, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. I have another spring cleaning video for you guys. We're going to be doing some spring cleaning. I went around my house yesterday and wrote out some things I want to tackle today. I have my whiteboard of my little to do list. So I'm going to be reading these off to you guys. But one thing I wanted to state in my spring cleaning, it may look a little different than yours. So I do deep clean my home every single week. So what that looks like is once a week I go through my home and I do surface cleaning and then I will pick a few deep cleaning tasks to do each week. So I do deep clean a lot in my home. So a lot of the things that people typically do in their spring cleaning routine, I don't have to do. So what I recommend doing is going on Pinterest. They have thousands of spring cleaning checklists for you to download. Pick one that fits your needs and then go ahead and go around your home. Check off anything that you may have already done. There's no point of cleaning something that does not need to be cleaned. So that's what I did. And I was able to cross out like 60% of the items on most spring cleaning lists just because I do deep clean my home so often. So I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there because you'll see me going in spring cleaning and there may be some things that you see I don't get to because I've already done them. So today's video, I'm going to be focusing a lot on the kitchen, but I'm going to be doing other areas of my home as well. So what I have on my little checklist today is I want to deep clean the kitchen cabinets. I'm going to be sharing a little cleaning hack for you guys to get your cabinets extra shiny and clean. Um, I'm also going to be cleaning my oven and stove top because it's been a couple of weeks since I did that. And then I want to wipe down the backsplash very well. Like I kind of want to shift things around off the countertops to really get that backsplash super clean because we have the white subway tiles so you see like everything on those um, I also put down to wipe down our kitchen appliances as well and then I have to clean the windows so not all of the windows in our home need to be cleaned. So I did just clean them, but mainly the ones in the front of the house where the dogs like to put their nose on. So like the sliding door and like the windows looking out into the backyard, those have to be cleaned pretty often because Blissey likes to lick those and put her nose on the windows. So we're gonna clean those today. And then something else I have on here is to clean window sills and door sills. So I don't have too many window sills to clean because that was something that I just did in October. So I deep cleaned all of my window sills. I do clean my window sills usually twice a year. So I went ahead and went through and most of them honestly weren't too bad. So we're only going to have to do a few of them today. And then the door sill, even though I just did that, it needs to be cleaned again since we open that back door so often with letting our dogs out. There's a lot of dust and debris in there. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. And then I also put, I wanna go through and use like my wet dry vacuum and just vacuum and mop the floors. And then the next thing I wanna do is wash our throw blankets that are on the couch. I do wash those weekly and it's time for me to wash those again, so I'll go ahead and do it. But there's a lot of things that are typically in my kitchen deep cleaning that I don't have to do because I've already did. Like we've already deep cleaned our refrigerator. I filmed a video of doing that a couple of weeks ago. I just deep cleaned my dishwasher. So there's just like a lot of things you'll notice I won't do and it's just simply because I've already done it. So we're gonna be focusing on everything that needs to get it done. I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to be taking my checklist with me, checking things off or erasing them as I do them. And we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to start in the kitchen and I'm going to start with doing some surface cleaning in there because I made some breakfast this morning and we have some dishes that I washed from last night. They need to be put away. So we'll do surface cleaning and then we'll move more into the deep cleaning. Before we start cleaning, I wanted to go ahead and put the throw blankets in the washer machine. So I gathered them from the couch and popping them in. I like to wash these once a week to keep them smelling nice and fresh. I use a little bit of some laundry detergent. I use a sprinkle of OxyClean and some fabric softener, and then I wash it on the hottest cycle. So here's what we're working with. Before we start to do some of the deep cleaning in the kitchen, I wanted to go ahead and take care of getting the dishes put away, washing any dishes we have, and then that way we can move on to the deep cleaning. You wanna see, You may 
Now that we have all the clean dishes put away, I'm gonna go ahead and load the dishwasher. I already had some dishes in there, but we had enough space for the little bit of dishes I needed to add. So we're gonna get those added. I'm also gonna be washing my little drying silicone mat as well. I like to spray that down with like Dawn Power Wash, and then I pop it in the dishwasher and it gets super clean. So we're gonna be adding that in there as well. Take my eyes So I always like to wash my dishwasher cycle on the sanitation cycle, so that way it washes and sanitizes the dishes. And then I'm just doing some hand washing on a couple of dishes that can't go in the dishwasher. We'll get those dried, put away, and then it'll be time to start this deep cleaning process. I put those dishes away and I'm ready to move on to some deep cleaning. So I'm using my method degreaser. You can pick this up from Target or Grove. It works amazing. It does need to sit for at least 10 minutes for it to really work. So I sprayed that in my oven. I'm also gonna be spraying that on my stove top as well. I'm gonna be spraying down the oven racks and stove top racks with Dawn Power Wash, letting that sit. We're moving on to the cabinet. So you need some of this Murphy cleaner. It's a wood cleaner. I got it from Target. Two cloths and you also need some gloves gloves as well. One cloth is going to be to wipe down the cabinets and the other cloth is going to be to dry the cabinets because you don't want to keep your cabinets um, wet. So you add some of that Murphy cleaner in your bucket. It tells you exactly how much to add on the back depending on how much water you're adding. You fill it up with water and this is the consistency you want. You want some bubbles on there. So before we start to clean the cabinets, I wanted to move everything off this countertop onto the island so that way if any water dripped down, it wouldn't ruin anything. Having white cabinets, these get dirty very quickly. You can see the grime on them after a few days. So I do try to wipe down a lot of them at least once a week. And I've tried so many different methods of wiping down my cabinets. And this is by far the best method I've tried. So I have the Murphy cleaner with the hot water in the bucket. I like to wear gloves so I can get the water super hot. So it gets like really clean and sanitizes the cabinets. And then I immediately follow through with a dry microfiber cloth so that way my cabinets aren't sitting wet and that will ruin the wood. So dry it immediately. And I'm doing this for all of the cabinetry. You guys, my cabinets were so clean, so shiny. They worked amazing. It also worked great on the handles as well. Even though it was a wood cleaner, I used it to like wipe the handles down and my cabinets were the cleanest. I have seen them in a really long time.
I tell you what, you guys, this was an amazing arm workout because the time I was done, my arm was so sore. So now that I did all the top cabinets, I'm working my way down to the bottom cabinetry as well. These are the ones that get very dirty. So I had to spend a little bit of extra time on these, but this solution worked amazing at removing all of that grime and getting them super shiny. Where you go wanna move your feet until they start to bleed DJ take it away Tonight is all for you and me So baby spin Now that we have all the cabinets washed and dried I'm putting some fresh water in our bucket and now it's time to wipe down our countertops and backsplash so I'm just using some hot water and some Dawn dish soap. I got the water super bubbly and this was an amazing consistency. Usually I just use like some multi-surface spray to clean the countertops, but something about a bucket of soapy water got them so clean and so shiny. This was like the cleanest I've ever seen my backsplash in my countertop. So strongly recommend this combination. It works amazing, you guys. So after we get all the countertops and backsplash wiped down, I'm gonna use Use that same bucket of water to clean out the inside of the oven. I wanted to do the countertops first while the water was nice and fresh. And then we're gonna take the bucket of water to wipe down the stove top and the oven. Where you go wanna move your feet until they start to bleed. Did you take it having this bucket of water saved me so many trips to the sink. I didn't have to constantly sop and wring out my microfiber cloth. So that was very helpful. I just had my bucket right there. That was my first time ever using a bucket to clean the stove and it worked amazing. So I let that method degreaser sit, probably it set for about 20 minutes. And then I just have that bucket filled of Dawn dish soap and I'm using that to just wipe everything clean. And then I got some paper towel to dry it. And then I got a another cloth to really make sure all the product was removed out of the oven and it got super clean and shiny with just that Dawn dish soap and that degreaser. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break too easy, but I'm worth it. So now we're going to add all of the things back to the countertop. I'm just using a dry microfiber cloth with a little bit of multi-surface spray on it to just wipe everything down as I add it. Just watch me. the oven's nice and clean the stovetop's clean we're going to go ahead and work on the racks i'm spraying some additional dawn power wash i just scrub it really well to get them super clean if you want them even cleaner you can let them soak overnight in the bathtub with a ton of dawn like dish soap i think i put one fourth a cup super hot water and you let it soak overnight and then you just rinse it and they are sparkly clean we didn't have time for that today so i'm just washing them by hand this way Watch me. 
we are moving right on along to our checklist and getting the rest of the appliances wiped down. So I'm cleaning out the inside of the microwave. I'm using that method degreaser that we use to clean the oven. And then I'm also gonna be wiping down the refrigerator as well. And I'm using my favorite hack for the fridge, which is using glass cleaner to really get the refrigerator super shiny and get all of those fingerprints away. I also wanted to remind you guys, if you have any fur friends to wash their beds, I wash all of the beds around the house and that's one sitting in the hallway drying right now. Um, I try to wash them and keep up with them so they smell nice and fresh, but definitely add that to your spring cleaning list if that needs to be done. We are almost done with this kitchen, you guys. I'm just giving the island a good wipe down. I would have used that same solution I used for the other countertops, but that water was so dirty. So I just used some multi-surface spray and wiping it that way to get them nice and clean. We both know what we want. Let's just keep it simple. tired watching all of these clips back, but the only thing we have left to do in the kitchen is clean the inside of the sink. And then I realized we didn't wipe down the dishwasher. So we'll be doing that as well. Okay, so don't mind the dishwasher because it is so loud, but I'm gonna go ahead and start Xing stuff off our checklist. So we went ahead and cleaned the kitchen cabinets. We cleaned the oven and stove top. We wiped down backsplash in the kitchen. We also wiped down all of the appliances in the kitchen. So we only have a few things left that I want to do. Only thing left to do is we need to go around and clean some windows. We need to clean that sliding glass door sill and then we're gonna go through with my Tyneco. Hopefully it's charged and we're going to vacuum and mop the floors. So let's go ahead and get moving. All right, so I went through the windows in the front of the house and they all look amazing. I did clean them in October, like I told you guys. So it looks like none of them actually need to be wiped down. So we're not gonna worry about the window seals because they all look amazing. I'll probably have to go through and do these after pollen season, which is usually around April. So we'll probably do them in April, but they look amazing. So I'm just gonna focus on cleaning the glass because there's so much smudge marks on all of the glass. You guys, oh my God, so disgusting. Because Blissy comes here and puts her nose on all of the windows. So we're gonna focus on just wiping down the windows and not necessarily the sills because it doesn't need it. Now this on the other hand does need to be wiped down. You can see the track. I did this in October as well, but let's see. It just gets so dirty fast since we're always using this door. So this one does need to be done. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take care of this one. So TikTok makes me buy a lot of cleaning products and this one is the Bissell Steam Shot. I've seen so many people use this to clean like windowsills and various things around their home. So I just bought it from Walmart. I will link it down below for you guys. No, I didn't get it from Walmart. I got it from Amazon. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and link it down below for you guys. If it's good, because I've never used it before. So you're supposed to put distilled water in it. Um, and then I never follow that rule, by the way, and I've never had any problems. So I'm just gonna use regular water. And then I'm gonna use the little cup that it comes with. And it does come with all of these different attachments, depending on what you're cleaning. Um, but since we're doing that little window door track over there, I think I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, so we're gonna get this set up and then we're gonna head over there and get that little door seal cleaned. So this is the before of our door track and it was disgusting, you guys. So the first thing I recommend doing is getting a vacuum and vacuuming all of that debris up. So that way, when you use your steam shot, you're not blowing the debris everywhere. So I vacuumed everything up the best I could, removing all of that debris. And I'm doing that on both sides, doing one side, shutting the door, and then doing the other side as well. <laughs> So 
So it took a few minutes for the steam shot to heat up, probably about three minutes for it to heat up. And now I'm just using it to steam away all of that debris, loosen it up. You do have to wipe it so it really loosens it up so that way it's easy to wipe. And what I noticed was I didn't need any additional cleaning products. I literally just used the steam shot and paper towel and was able to get this door so clean. So you guys can see the Bissell steam shot did an amazing job. Those are the before and afters. Look at these dirty paper towels. That was just using steam and paper towel, you guys. So I give it a 10 out of 10. I can't wait to use it around my home. It comes with quite a bit of attachments and there's so many things you can use it on. The next thing I want to try it out on is my washer machine. Those little compartments with like the fabric softener, you know how you get that build up in there? Um, that's supposed to be an amazing thing to use to loosen up that grime and be able to just take a paper towel and wipe it. So we'll be doing that soon. But I wanted to go ahead and wipe down as many windows as my arm allowed me to do. You guys, after cleaning those cabinets, my arm was on fire. So wiping down the sliding glass door, did the inside of it, outside of it. And then the rest of the windows, I'm just wiping the inside of them. And then my husband takes care of the outside. The last thing we're gonna be doing in this video is I'm using my two-in-one vacuum to do the floors in the front of the house. I like to do this every single day, especially around that sliding door since we come in and out of that door and a lot of debris gets over there. So I figured I would just go ahead and go over the floors super quickly and get this last thing done. One thing I wanted to note, if you have this machine or are considering getting it, the only thing that I don't like about it is you have to clean the attachments after every use. So that dirty water tank, you definitely want to make sure you empty that out. I empty mine in the toilet, and then it has a couple of attachments that need to be washed, and you wanna make sure you wash them very well, let them completely dry, then you can add it back to the machine. And then also it has a roller that is what really cleans your floors. It comes with the extra one. Every 
every now and then you just want to give that roller a good wash with some Dawn dish soap, clean it very well, let it completely dry and then pop it right back under your machine. But since it comes with a spare one, I like to do it once a week just because I do use this machine every single day and that roller can get very nasty fast. So you want to make sure to keep up with that to keep your machine smelling nice and fresh. And that is everything we were able to tackle in today's video. I'm giving Ryan back his Crocs because he left those out. I was able to cross off everything on my spring cleaning list today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button. Join the family here on my YouTube channel and I'll be seeing you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye.